gamers. Today, I'm going to show you how to do Sire on a low defense account. This could be a pure, a 20 defense account, or a Cirque. Whatever account build you have that is just a bit too squishy to handle Sire the normal way. I've been doing this on my uh, hardcore Cirque uh, for about 800 kills, and I've not even gotten close to taking too much damage at any point. So uh, with that being said, let's start by looking at some inventory setups. Now, what I've been going with is uh, I'll bring Crystal Bow with an Arc Light and a Magic Short Bow. The most important thing I'd really say is the uh, Crystal Bow. You can manage to do the kills with a Dragon Scimitar if you uh, want to do Sire for whatever reason or a 60 attack build. And the MSB is simply just to save a bit of money in the long run. You'll see where it's being used. Okay, now I'm gonna do a live commentary over a kill. Um, to make sure that you understand what I do for each kill. So I start out with Shadow Barraging, Sire. Then we're gonna wait for this guy to turn towards us. And then shoot the first vent. As soon as the first vent is dead, I'm gonna transition to the next. And when this vent is dead, we transition to the third. And you will not believe what happens when the third vent is dead. We transition to the fourth. Now around uh, when there's four zero seconds left on uh, the stun timer, your attacks are going to be null. So just go back and uh, restun Sire. We're going to kill this last vent. Should do it. I'm switched to our melee gear, pot up, and prepare our special attack. I like to start on this tile, so I always get the first hit off. Now we're gonna step under Sire to uh, make him 8 ticks instead of 7. Gonna spawn a spawn. Oh, that doesn't matter because he's already under 200 HP. Now we're gonna walk to our barrage tile. You can walk just to save a bit of run energy. Now I don't really need a lot of HP from these, so I can kind of just uh, spam through them. If you are low HP after second phase, you may want to wait for these to uh, transition into scions just so you. Get to heal up to full HP. Now we're gonna range putt and run to this tile. As soon as we reach it, we're gonna attack Sire. Run through him. And start walking uh, from side to side to avoid the asset pools. Now you can do this uh, run efficiently if you want, but it is not required. Now we're going to turn on Eagle Eye, run to this tile, shoot twice, run to tile 2, shoot, 3, 4, shoot, and run to step tile. Then as soon as we reach this tile, we're going to click over here. Now all the uh, spawns are caught, and we can kill Zyra. And we get jugs of water. Amazing. Now, let's look at some tile markers. The first thing you'll notice is that I have quite a lot of them. And I promise they'll all make sense in the end. Now let's look at um, what each of these tile markers are for. These tile markers. This one. This one. And this one. And this one are for the vents. So this is where you can reach the vents for. And you um, spend less than four ticks running between them. So you don't, uh, you don't waste ticks. On a running about inefficiently. And that's pretty much the first part of the kill covered. You you kill the vents, uh, keep Shadow Barraging if uh, you don't kill Zaya quick enough, and uh, he's gonna pop out and go down from his, his throne. On the second part of the kill, phase two, 
I uh, don't mark light specs. Of course, do feel free to use a Dragon Warhammer if you have one. It is better. I just do not have one. It doesn't matter too much. Sire comes down, you uh, spec him twice. Now, if you want to, you can do two attacks on him and walk under. Since Sire attacks at a seven tick rate. So if you walk under him, um, on the third tick after you uh, second attack, you can make him attack at eight ticks and take a little bit less damage. Now, when Sire reaches 200 HP, he's going to walk over here and uh, put his feet down and spawn some minions. This is where the uh, method differs from the normal Sire method. We're going to run over here to this tile I have marked. And then we are, because we are noobs, we're going to use our Unbued Heart to be able to use Blood Barrage. All the spawns are going to walk over here. And we're going to Blood Barrage them until they're all gone. Once you've dealt with all the spawns, you're going to run over to Sire. Click on this tile. And we see it not being highlighted anymore. Okay, when your player's on there, you're going to click attack on Sire. As soon as you attack, you're going to run through. And uh, run between these two tiles while getting him down to around 139 HP where the next phase starts. Now the reason we're going to the back here is because um, we don't want to accidentally step on an acid pool or have an acid pool uh, be on this tile here when um, when he teleports us because then we're going to take unnecessarily like 20-30 damage. So run over to this side. Just uh, run between these two tiles, attacking him. Now for this next phase, I think I'm going to need some gameplay footage uh, to talk over, because it is a bit more complicated with uh, when you're supposed to attack and run between these tiles. So for phase three, you're going to see me. As soon as I get teleported, I turn on Eagle Eye. And as soon as I land on the other side, I click on uh, tile one. While I run there, I switch to my range gear, and as soon as I reach the tile numbered one, I start attacking, and I turn on my range prayer. As soon as I've fired two attacks, I click tile two, then I fire one attack here, and then it becomes a bit of a uh, thing where you sort of have to count ticks, or just get a general feel for the method. I'm sure it'll come after a few tries. So uh, you attack sire here on tile two, and then on the third and fourth tick, uh, you uh, click on tiles three and four. And then when you reach tile four, you attack and you click the, the tile called step tile, what you're doing. Now I'm going to show you what I usually do when I build directs out, because it looks like this killer is going to. When I hit the first cyan die. I know I can do about two attacks, then move to the next tile over here. Then run back to this. I do two attacks. Then I go in with melee. And finish him off. And now I'm gonna show you another method you can do if a uh, Sire is just still very high HP by the time you're trying to kill him. So we're gonna be ready to log out once we hear the sound of the sign dying. So that's there. We're going to lock back in. Now you'll notice the spawns are not attacking us. We're not able to attack Sai either. Once a bit of time has passed, we'll be able to attack him again. Uh, but the spawns will not get on us instantly. We can do about five attacks before Acid Pool starts spawning under us. We should also be playing range. Now we're going to want to start moving about to avoid the acid. This just gives you a lot more time to finish off the kill in case you have like a 150 HP Sire left by the time the spawns are dying. That's pretty much all for this tutorial. I hope I got around to explaining it well enough. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I'm sure I'll get back to you. And um, thanks for watching it. And bye-bye.